Hey guys, it's you and welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is actually episode number 98, so we're getting close to a big ol' 99 and big ol' 100 there. Anyway, um, we have a team versus this guy that I don't know. Last last time we faced Christo and that was pretty close. This time we're facing somebody a little bit less competitive, but that is okay. Um, as long as I don't let Empoleon trapped, I Empoleon get trapped, I think I'm okay. But, um, what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and lead off with Sceptile, because... Um, I don't want him leading off with Dougie and getting a free kill. Uh, ends up leading with Shetty, which is equally as much of a problem, kind of. Um, although it's actually not, because I just have Heracross and uh, I'm Guts Facade. So even if he burns me, it is not an issue at all. Um, and I can just fire off a pretty free knockoff as he ends up going for the nasty plot. This is a Zoroark, this is a problem. Um, DT Zoro Arc. It's like 105. 105. Nice. <laughs> um, so it's looking like Sceptile is going to get a free revenge kill here in a minute. But um, predicting the flamethrower, I'm going to go straight into Shandy. Because um, the goal is to pivot from Shandy and probably sack that because Shandy's not doing a whole lot this game. Besides potentially beating Crest 1v1, but I do have Heracross for that. So not too worried about that. So. He ends up going, going for the flamethrower right there, which is fine. I'm just going to go for my own flamethrower now as he just knocks him out with the dark pulse, so it is fine. Um, I can just go into Sceptile right here and knock him out with the uh, focus blast. Because I think... Actually, I'm just going to go for the dragon pulse because I feel like he's going to be Sash, if anything. Um, as that does not kill, and I do not die to a flamethrower, which is super nice. Um, I'm going to go for the dragon pulse. Hope he doesn't have sucker. Because that'd be really unfortunate. He does not have Sucker, so that's very helpful. Um, we'll see what he goes into next, though. Because that shall be interesting to see. I'm kind of expecting him to go into Crobat right here. Because I feel like that is his best play. Or he could go straight out into Shetty. But uh, I also don't feel like that's a very good play at all. So, um, he does end up going into Shetty. So, uh, you know, you make your play, bro. I'm not I'm not messing with you. Um... If I weaken Cress, I feel like I can just sweep with Mensa because I, I just have to get that out of the way, weaken that, and it's a wrap. He just ends up going for the SD right here. I can click knockoff, though, like it is nobody's business, and uh, bring this thing down to El Sasho, assuming it has it. Be Life Orb. That did a lot. Not even going to lie, but he doesn't even have Sash, so he is Lum, which, you know, I guess it makes sense, but I feel like Sash is a lot better. Anyway, we'll see what he goes into right here. Um, not going to be too surprised if we see Crobat. I feel like that is his best switch in right here. Um, and I do kind of need to preserve Heracross, actually, because it does help me beat Cress 1v1, because, you know, Cress isn't going to appreciate a knockoff. Goes into Hitmon top, though. Um, this is a little bit of a questionable play, I think. I'm going to go ahead and calc this if this is max defense Hitmon top. Um, Heracross. OU offensive. Um, are we jolly or are we adamant? Adam. Uh, we are jolly. Um, so we're just gonna give you this here item called the Choice Band, and uh, cause that's basically what Guts is, and versus Hitmon Top. Are you Rapid Spin? But instead of Intimidate, we're giving you Infiltrator. Um, that's gonna hurt you a lot, but it's not gonna kill you, so I f I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out right here into... I don't think... Actually, this thing is kind of an issue. Um... Is there any way I beat Cress if I get rid of this? Uh, this thing's really nice. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go into Mance right here and probably just fire off a Dragon Claw, weaken this thing as much as possible because I'm not really fearing this thing at all. Um, I could also fire off an Outrage if I really, really wanted to uh, to try to get some super damage off. But um, actually, you know, what? I don't think I lose much by doing that because it's mainly by getting as much damage as possible off on this right now so that uh, I can come in and do more stuff with it later. Um, that did no damage. That's scary. Um, but I'm just going to go for the Outrage right here, then probably Sack um, or go into Cure him. He ends up revealing T-Wave. That's just annoying. And now I get the three turn. Clutch is in the gym. Um, so he'll probably Moonlight here, which he does. Good play on his part. And I'm just going to Outrage again. Um, I do get L Confusion, which is pretty bad. I don't know why I'm saying L a lot, but I am. I'm going to go into Empoleon right here, because Empoleon, besides checking Crobat, is nothing this game. Uh, so if it gets trapped, it's like it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to go ahead and get up my rocks, because 
it'll be very nice for uh, getting some residual damage on the Hitmontop right here. As he does go for the T-Wave. So this is by far the most annoying crest set I've ever seen. I'm just going to fire off a roar right here. Um, hopefully I don't get fully paired on the switch to uh, Dougie. Because that'd be really unfortunate. I'm imagining he'll just call mine again right here. Um, because I feel like that's kind of a good play for him. But, you know, we'll see. I kind of want to Scald, too. But uh, he just ends up going for the CM. Good play on his part. So, Adios thing uh, goes into the Acrobat, which is fine. I'm just going to go for the Scald. Um, because if this is Defog, then that's fine. Because um, I can try to get off a Burn right here. And uh, if this thing gets out of the way, then Hera can potentially wreak some havoc. So, um, anyway, I'm just going for the Scald right here. As he goes out and hit him on top, which, you know, kind of a questionable play. Um because I don't really think he wants this taking a burn, but I'm going to Scald anyway. Uh, kind of unfortunate that that had to happen right there. But, you know, I guess, what you going to do about it? I, th I feel like he's AV too. Like, Fake Out, BP, Mock Punch, um, Rapid Spin, Burn. Ah, nice. Um, I kind of want to keep Sceptile around. Not even going to lie. Um, so I'm going to go into Mints and use that as my pivot and predict him to go back out into Cress and switch because that is doing zero. Um, he can't really do a whole lot to me. Uh, so I'm going to go back out into Empoleon and we'll see what he's going to do because even if he spins, um, I'm gaining more net HP, which like really isn't an issue for me at all, which is pretty nice. Um, but, you know, I, I'd imagine that he's going to switch right here uh, as he does go out back into Luna. Uh, the Cresselia, so very, very nice that I'm able to do that right there. I'm probably just going to fire off a Scald right here, because I lose nothing by it. If I do catch him on the switch to Dougie, that is very, very nice as well. He's just going to go for the Psychic as he gets the Spit F drop. Please burn. Ah, if I get the burn, that helps so much. Um, but I'm just going to fire off another Scald. It's not really an issue, as he does go for the CM. But really, I'm not fishing for damage. I'm fishing for burns, um, which I don't get. <laughs> unfortunately but uh you know we'll see we shall see um now that hitmontop is burned though if i do get kiramin um for free versus hitmontop then something dies so that's very very nice um i only wish kiram got like trick so it could trick bulky setup sweepers like this specs anyway can we get a burn no burn that's kind of scary i'm gonna roar um just because not really in the mood to uh uh, he goes for the Moonlight on the full para. Not on the full para. That's nice. Not even going to lie. I'm going to go for the Scald right here, though, because I do feel like it is my best play. Um, if he does go into Dougie, I can knock that out after Rocks with the Scald. So that is super nice for me. Um, although I'd imagine, like, I, I feel like we're just going to see a U-turn right here. But he hard switches back out into Cress as, can I burn? Where's, help. Where are my burns, friend? <laughs> um, it would really help if I do end up burning this thing. He goes for the CM. I really don't understand why you're trying to set up on this. Like, despite the fact that I'm getting absolutely zero burns. <laughs> um, if I get a burn on this thing and I can roar it out, that's super helpful. That did 18%. What? What is this? Um, I'm going to go for another Scald, though, because I don't really mind if he psychics me again. Um, I always have Kiram just chilling if I really need a fodder or something. Or Mence, for that matter, to just like get rid of the Spit F drop. Um, but I really don't understand why we're not getting Scalds, because that's one, two, three, four, five, five Scalds in a row without a burn, so that's pretty uncommon, but, um, <laughs> my thoughts, exactly, this dude knows what's up, um, he's just gonna see him again, hit me up, nice, um, so right here, I'm gonna predict, like, I feel like he's going to go for the Moonlight, but, you know, not really of my concern, because Scald is still my best play. Um, if I can just Scald him right, right here, get the burn, that's beautiful. Um, come on now, friend. No, no, no thing. Rip. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Roar, as, if, as long as I don't get fully parried. Nice. Um, as I Roar him out into Crobat again. I'm going to go for another Scald, it's my best play. Um, base it sums up UU at the moment. Just click Scald as your best play. Um, as long as I don't get fully parried on the... Oh, Heat Wave. No damage. And uh, Crobat will go down. The unfortunate thing about this is that I don't think I've done enough damage to Cress. Um, actually, no, he's at 63. Um, so the plan is, he goes into Dougie. Good play. Uh, I'm going... Do, do I check if this is Sandville? 
I'm gonna check if it's sand mail. <laughs> Just cause like, you really lose nothing by it. Trapped and cannot switch. I'm clicking Scald. Uh, maybe he tries to get up his own rocks right here. And uh, he just makes a good play, goes for the E Quizzle, knocks me out. Um, I'm, I'd assume that this will just die to a Giga Drain. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Giga Drain. Because um, getting some HP back is very, very nice because, you know, it allows me to just pivot a lot. Or not pivot a lot. Pivot is the wrong word. To come in versus hit him on top um, now that I am at 52%. Um, if he does go out in a Cress, I feel like my best play is Cure him because if he. Uh, because then he'll see him in my face and I can uh, go to Heracross and I don't want to switch Heracross in on a Psychic because then I just straight lose and that'd be bad. Um, we'll see what he goes into though. Um, I honestly feel like I can win this. It's just a matter of maneuvering around Cresselia. He goes into him on top, which to be honest is a little bit of a surprise for me, but hey, I, I'm not complaining at all because I can just go for the Dragon Pulse right here as he fakes me out. Um, it'd be ideal if I if this was a double down right here. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that I can't kill him with this. I can. Sceptile, you're too strong, said no one ever. Um, Giga wouldn't have helped me at all right there. Um, but I'm just going to... I really feel like he's going to recover right here. Actually, uh, Heracross is my best play no matter what. Because if he psychics right here, then he dies to his specs Draco. He moonlights, and he's going to take a lot from a knockoff. Um, and someone is calling me. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and pause this real quick, and I'll be right back. Anyway, sorry about that, guys, but I'm back. Uh, I'm just going to go into Cure and click Draco, hopefully win the game. I think that's how this is going to go. <laughs> um, as long as I don't miss, I feel like I just jinxed myself right there, and this is landing wide left. Um, but, you know, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, I end up hitting, and that is a dead crest, so that's a good game. Um, and that's going to wrap up today's episode, because that was actually kind of long. It wasn't actually long but longer battle anyway um, if you guys did enjoy today's battle please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that i'm doing here on the channel also make sure to enter today's comment question of the video um which is oh god my dogs hi hi sorry about this lots of constant interruptions anyway um We'll, you know, we'll, we'll just go something kind of generic. What's your guys' favorite legend? Um, I'm using Kyurem here. Uh, Kyurem's actually kind of grown on me. It's a cool mod. Uh, I kind of want to use, like, Spadef uh, Sub Roost, but, you know, that's just me. Anyways, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.